in this video we will do some basic road load calculations so just for a quick revision uh, we have seen the different fo resistive forces or the road loads which are acting on the vehicle so these are aerodynamic drag force rolling resistance force gradient resist resistance force and the acceleration force so we have already seen how these equations came and the, these are the initials and these are the equation for them now we will solve for each one so the vehicle which we are considering here is the Tata Nexon EV uh, I have taken some dimensions from their uh, Tata Motors websites so it has a dimension of 3993 of length uh, 1811 of width and 1606 of height the curve weight of Tata Nexon EV is 1400 kg and the tires uh, the specification of the tires are these these are 16 inches and the LRR stands for the low rolling resistance and then the acceleration part so the Tata Nexon covers 0 to 100 km per hour in 9.9 .9 seconds as per Tata Motors claims so now moving on uh, we will do these calculations for 0 to 100 kmph in 10 seconds uh, for a simpler calculations then uh, we are assuming few things we are assuming air density at 27 degree celsius to be 1.2 kg per meter cube the coefficient of drag to be 0.24 rolling resistance coefficient to be 0.01 and the gradient angle is to be 5 degree and the velocity for which we will be calculating is the 50 kmph and now uh, we have to convert this kmph into meter per second so so this is a basic, very basic conversion we have to multiply the kmph into 5 by 18 which gives us 13.889 meter per second now for the total mass uh, the vehicle the total mass will comprise of the vehicle curb weight plus the passenger weight plus any payload or luggage we are carrying so in this case the vehicle curb weight is 1400 kg and uh, since the Nexon can sit five people and uh, I'm considering a 70 kg for an average adult so that accounts for five times 70 kg and then the, any payload or luggage I'm considering 50 kg so solving this we get 1800 kg or uh, so this uh, this 1800 kg will be the total mass for all of the calculations we will be doing forward now moving on the very first force we will be calculating is aerodynamic drag force now since we have considered few things I will repeat them for this part also uh, the air density we are considering to be 1.2 kg per meter cube the coefficient of drag to be 0.24 now the vehicle frontal area uh, th this we have to calculate so this is the width times height so or width in uh, for the for any vehicle so the for Tata Nexon EV and we are going with these these things and calculating this width into height gives us the total or the projected area or the vehicle frontal area to be 2.9084 meter square and uh, the velocity of the 50 kmph since we are considering it into meter per second this is now 13.889 meter per second so we, so we have the aerodynamic drag force equation uh, which, is, which is half into rho into cd coefficient of drag into area into velocity square putting on the values we get this answer which is uh, f arrow will be equal to 80.789 newtons now the second force we will be calculating is rolling resistance force again uh, we have to consider few things here so the the, st the first one is the total mass uh, we have already calculated the total mass in the previous slides which is 1800 kg then we have the gradient angle which is 5 degree now depending on uh, to what you are using you have to take uh, either the gradient angle into degrees or into radians so I have uh, already taken uh, I have already took in, the, in both uh, now the 5 degree will be 0 0.0872 radians now the next is rolling resistance coefficient which is 0 0.01 the acceleration due to gravity this is a constant 9.81 meter per second square and the velocity 50 kmph is now 13.889 meter per second 
now here in the equation i have added a, another term since the coefficient the rolling resistance coefficient is a factor of velocity up to 120 kmph and uh, we are calculating uh, the max velocity for which we will be calculating is 100 kmph so we have to factor in this thing also so now putting putting the values and calculating this is the basic part so we get the air rolling resistance force to be 195.135 newtons now the next one is gradient resistance force uh, again we have the mass which is 1800 kg we have the gradient angle which is 5 degree or 0 0.0872 radians and we have the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.81 meter per second square now again putting the values into the equation which we have uh, we get the gradient resistance force to be 1538.996 newtons now the next will be the acceleration force so uh, this is something uh, i have already told the acceleration force is different from uh, rest all so again we have to do some additional calculation for the acceleration force we have the total mass which is 1800 kg and uh, we are considering it to be same throughout all of our calculations now to get the acceleration uh, we have to use the first equation of motion uh, now the first equation of motion is v is equal to u plus a t where u is the initial velocity v is the final velocity a is the acceleration and the t is the time period now since we are doing calculation for 0 to 100 kmph in 10 seconds therefore our initial velocity will be 0 km per hour or 0 meter per second. Our final velocity will be 100 km per hour or 27.777 meter per second. And the time period will be 10 seconds. Now, rearranging the first equation of motion uh, to, find the cal uh, to find or calculate acceleration. Now, we have rearranged the same equation. Now, the acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity upon time period putting on the values we get the acceleration to be 2.777 meter per second square now we will use this acceleration value in our to calculate the acceleration force and we get an acceleration force of about 5000.4 newtons now the total tractive force is the sum of all resistive forces uh, which are acting on the vehicle so we will Calculate. Uh, we will uh, sum all of the forces which we got. Now the total reactive force we, at the end we will get is we are going to get is 6814.920 newtons. Now whatever we have did was for 50 km uh, kmph mark. Now in order to get a broad idea, I have already done calculations for 0 kmph, 25 kmph, 50 kmph. 75 kmph and 100 kmph uh, from the table as also you can get the trend now the aerodynamic forces which was the factor which were increasing with the factor of velocity square so initially this is zero and this is increasing similarly since the coefficient of uh, rolling resistance was also part of velocity so this is also increasing with velocity the gradient force will be constant because uh, the, the gradient itself which we are considering is 5 degree for all of the calculations and then the acceleration force again the acceleration is constant so 0 to 100 in 10 seconds meaning 2.777 meter per second square so the acceleration is not changing we are using a constant acceleration so the acceleration force will also not change and it will be a constant and the overall tractive force will increase because the aerodynamic forces and the rolling resistance forces are increasing if you plot this into a line chart uh, here you can see the fro and frr frr or aerodynamic drag force and rolling resistance force comparisons you can, you can see the as the velocity is increasing the aerodynamic drag is increasing drastically and uh, uh, the ruling resistance force is also in increasing with respect to velocity but uh, uh, the slope is very little for, for that and uh, I have not plotted the gradient resistance and acceleration force here because they are constant so you don't see any change in their trends 
so in the next video we will uh, go through the wheel torque and power required part and uh, we will also see how we can do these calculations in a in microsoft excel